you, I did this one and it just popped right out. And as you saw, it started just running down the halls. Hi, I'm Natalie and this is James and welcome aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Over the past five years, we've been on an incredible journey sailing around the world, accompanied by our two trusty dog crew members, Flint and Kira. Join us every Friday for a new video documenting our adventures. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of the journey. Well, hello everyone. Today's episode is going to be epic. We are finishing the teak off on our sailboat. If you remember from last week, we sanded down our tow rails and then we brought out the wood filler and we filled up all the holes and the cracks and the wood all around the boat. We've been battling rain and trying to get nice dry days to get this done. Fortunately, the sun is shining and the wood filler is dry. So we're good to go. We're going to go around and we're going to sand all of the spots that we did with the wood filler, get that nice and smooth. And then it's time to put some oil on these tow rails. We're gonna use a teak oil and we're gonna get them uh, treated and looking good. Um, it's probably gonna take quite a few coats of teak oil to really get it saturated into that wood and uh, you know make sure that wood is absorbed as much as it can take and uh, it'll look nice too. So with the teak oil obviously when it goes on it's gonna look really dark and then as it dries it lightens up a little bit. So um, pretty excited to get this job finished. The dogs are obviously having a snooze. We've been to the dog park, so we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's get the sander and get cracking. All right, so as we can see here, it looks pretty good, nice and hard. It's had a couple of days to dry now. This was the big one. It had loads in there, so we needed that to dry. Looks pretty good. We did a test patch. Wow, oh, here. We sanded that super smooth. So pretty good. So we're gonna hit it with the sander now, get the rest of it done, and yeah. All right, we're sanded. Now we're going to wash it all down, get all the dust off so that it's perfect for when we go to oil stain. I'm on the fence, I'm on the fence. We've got some teak oil that we might use as opposed to stain, but wow, it's side the last minute. Let's wash it all down. All right, so we have washed it all down. As you can see, I mean, even just wet, it looks really nice. But yeah, we've washed it all down. And the reason we did that is because we want to get all the dust off the wood. Um, and as I explained to you before, it's super important that we get all that dust off of it. Otherwise, when we go to put the stain on or the oil, um, it's not gonna look very nice. Um, all of that dust mixes and congeals and doesn't look very good. So, but we're at the point now where we're just gonna let this dry. It's already drying super quick, look at that. I mean, it's already half dry. Um, and yeah, we're going to decide teak oil or stain. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna think about it, work it out, see, what, uh, see what's what. Uh, we have the teak oil, the stain I would need to go and buy. Um, the thing we found with using stain in the past is you pay for what you get. So we have had, fortunately when we acquired the boat, 
The previous owner actually bought very, very good stain. And it did, it looked wonderful. You, if you go back to our videos when we were in uh, Spain during, at the end of COVID, and we we're getting the boat ready, I mean, the tow rails looked super good. So I think what I'll do is I'll jump online, have a little shop around and decide and see if there's something affordable that's gonna be pretty good or whether we just use the teak oil that we have now. So um, yeah, but we're gonna let these dry and once they're dry, I'll let you know what we're doing. All right, so just before I went downstairs, I thought I'd quickly show you, this is one of our major repairs that we did. And as you can see, it's turned out pretty good. We had like a, uh, a chunk missing from right here and there's a little bit right here. And it's not bad. I mean, I don't think this is probably the right type of wood filler for something uh, that is this deep or like such a large chunk of wood missing. I think you probably need something a little different or you need to actually get some wood to put into that with wood filler to fill up the volume. Cause uh, I think wood filler by itself is not that strong. Um, it kind of, when you apply it or use it, it feels a lot like uh, if you've ever done drywall and you like, you know, you put that putty over the, like the nail heads or the seams and stuff like that. It's kind of like that kind of stuff. So um, I, it doesn't feel like it has a lot of rigidity to it. Um, so I'm not like, I mean, I think it looks pretty good right now, but I'm not hopeful that, you know, if somebody was to step on it, that it wouldn't like flake off. It already happened if I shift along. Flynn got scared. If I shift along, you can see I did this one and it just popped right out. Just, yeah, came right out of the hole. I mean, that one was like three times the size of that one. So I guess I'm not surprised, but I was sanding it and then it just, so it might not be the right for that, but for all the little grooves and everything, it it's worked super well um, and you can't even notice it. And it's nice and smooth. So it's pretty happy, um, but yeah. We'll just let this dry, like I said, and then we'll uh, decide what we're gonna do. So the reason I have a massive smile on my face right now is because it's happened. We've now ordered our new outboard. That's right, we finally bit the bullet. I made the purchase just a few minutes ago and yeah, we've ordered a new outboard and it's coming. It should be here later this week. Um, that will be in the next video. Um, we're gonna go through exactly what we've ordered, um, the commissioning process and obviously installing it, testing it, giving you guys all the information you want. Um, this is a huge day on Zephyr. I would say this is the third largest purchase we made in our entire sailing career on this boat. So it's happened guys, spent the money and all right, we're back to being broke, woohoo. All right, anyways, uh, yeah. And so the other thing we're gonna do is I've made a decision. We are going to use our Total Boat teak oil. Um, we've got a couple of cans of that. I was speaking to Nat and she'd used it on our little handrails uh, next to the companionway and they look fantastic. She said it worked really well. It went on really well um, and we've got a lot of it. Um, and instead of going out and spending another $80 for a quart to, to do the tow rails, uh, let's use what we got. If it works out great on the tow rails, we haven't used it on the tow rails before, this particular, this particular teak oil. And if it goes really well, then great, we're on to a winner. But that's the decision. Total boat teak oil, we're gonna put it on the tow rails, let's go.
So I started to use the brush and as you saw, it started just running down the hull. So now I'm using a cloth, I dip the cloth in, squeeze out the, the excess and then I wipe it on and that seems to be the way to do it. Um, so that's what we're gonna keep doing. no stain and then with the stain that's obviously going to dry lighter but it'll be interesting to see how it looks sorry I keep saying stain but we're using an oil So not too bad, that's the first coat. I even managed to do the handrails, Flinty's checking them out. Looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's all these little flies and I think they're attracted to it because they're everywhere. All of a sudden they just appeared. So I think the, the teak oil is something they really like. Anyways, we're gonna let that soak in for a little bit and then we'll put on another, another application. And that's pretty much how the day is gonna go. Finally, our teak has dried, and as you can see, it looks pretty good, not too bad. Um, it's got three coats of oil on it. Um, I might put a fourth, I'm not too sure. It's soaked it up great. Um, it's kept the teak look, which is really good after we sanded it, so. Um, the only thing I don't like, and we definitely won't use in the future, is that wood filler, and let me show you why. So as I said earlier in the video, the wood filler is supposed to be stainable, which means that the wood filler should absorb and at very least take on the color of the stain or oil you're putting on. Not the case. So it has not changed color at all. So some of the areas, as you can see, where we have um, put quite a bit of filler, uh, it's basically turned our tow rail into like a zebra stripe. So. Um, not super happy about that, uh, but we're gonna leave it for now, and then obviously next season we will sand it all off. It'll probably wear away, to be honest, and we definitely won't use that wood filler again. But yeah, a little disappointing. Um, I guess the good thing it is filled in, it is protected, but yeah, it just looks terrible. <laughs> it happens. All right, well, that is the tow rails. They look really good. We're pretty happy with that. Um, it'll definitely do for this season. And uh, yeah, on to the next project. If you'd like to be a part of the journey and become a patron, go to the link you see here on the screen. 
Another way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button.